Kate Forbes a difficult first 24 hours in the campaign? Well, I have been honest and open with the questions that I've been asked. And I would hope that at a time where the public are crying out for politicians to answer questions, I've done that. Ultimately, it will be for the SNP voters to decide. So where do you stand on gay marriage then? Well, I've already been pretty open and clear. Equal marriage is a legal right. I will defend that right. To the hilt, I will defend anybody's right in a pluralistic and tolerant society. But you would have voted against it had you been an MSP. To love. I think marriage is, should still be a question of conscience. And if I had been around 10 years ago, this is 10 years ago we're talking. That's a long time ago. If I'd been around, I'd have voted in line with that conscience. Uh, and uh, right now, I'm a servant of democracy. I'm not a dictator and I will uphold that right. But you don't actually agree with the principle of gay marriage? Well, I'd have voted in line with my conscience on a position which is actually echoed across most major faiths in terms of Islam, Judaism and so on. But now you're still opposed to gay marriage? Well, I'm, I'm absolutely supportive of the legal right of gay people to marry. But you're so, not actually in support of the principle. Well, I'm a, I, I, as a practising Christian, I can tell you what I practise, which is um, that marriage is between a man and a woman. But in terms of my position, there is total equality between gay marriage and other marriage. So you're now relaxed about gay marriage? Well, I'm happy to support it in terms of the legal position and to defend the right. Is that your church's position? Uh, my church's position is sort of irrelevant in all this. I mean, I, I've belonged to a whole host of different churches with different views on these things. But I'm just trying to work out, where are you now? Are you now mm -hmm. someone who backs gay marriage because... Because it's a legal right. But not because you agree with it in principle. But in terms of how I practice my faith, can, well, here's the question. In a liberal and pluralistic society, can you distinguish between what someone might practice according to their conscience. But no one's asking support. you to practice it because you are married to a man, but do you approve of two men being married or two women being married? I'm, I'm happy to uphold that legal right. I've used this example already, but I do think Angela Merkel is a good case in point. Where you she, mean a, a, a German conservative leader? She, in terms of the principle, can you in a pluralistic society have somebody who upholds But it sounds like your views right. and faith have changed on this, or your views have changed on this, in that 10 years ago you would have opposed it, now you say you're happy to accept it. Because I'm a servant of democracy. It's a democratic right. But I'm not asking you about that. I'm asking you about your own personal views. Do you think that gay marriage well, is right or wrong? Well, I, I have answered in terms of well, but my answer, faith... Answer me that then. Is okay. it right or wrong? In terms of my faith position, I would practice that marriage is between a man and a woman. So you think gay marriage terms, is wrong then? I don't, I don't think it's as simple as that. I think in terms of the legal position, it is a right that people have that I would defend. If you're asking me what my so position is you accept is it legally, but you don't accept it morally? Morally, I would believe, according to my conscience, that the marriage that is defined within my faith is between a man and a woman, like it is in Islam, like it is in Judaism, and like it is in other faiths. So legally you accept gay marriage, but morally yeah. you don't accept gay marriage. And I would hope that that is possible in a pluralistic society. Some of your supporters don't agree with you in that and can't, no, can no longer support you because of that. Three ministers and other MSP have already withdrawn their support from you, from you because of that. So they don't accept your view on that. And yet I respect their integrity. Isn't this what this is all about? That politicians should have integrity to say what they believe, how they believe it, and to act on that. And if I can defend their right to hold a view, can they defend my right? It does seem, though, that your leadership campaign is in disarray because of that. Well, early days, we forget. But, but in, in early, but, the earliest day, 24 hours in, and you've lost four of your key supporters. Ultimately, this contest it is determined by SNP members. The diversity of SNP members reflects the diversity of the Scottish public. And I'm sitting here saying, I'll defend your right to the hilt, to live and to love without fear and harassment. Can you defend the rights of people of faith to, to, to believe and to practice? I suppose the key thing for them is they can't defend your position on gay marriage. And that's, that's, that's absolutely fine in terms of where I've set out my position, which is I'll defend your right to get married. I mean, I, I, I am a servant of democracy. I'm not sitting here 
as a, a dictator saying that I will absolutely impose my views, fully understanding that I have said that I think marriage is one of the very, very, very few issues that should be treated as an issue of conscience. But, but is, is homosexuality wrong? Is that where you are from? I am from a, a faith position which practices that marriage, as we've talked about, is for a but man beyond, and a woman. Beyond even marriage, is homosexuality wrong? I think if you want a, a, um, a theological answer, because that's a theological question. I'm asking you a political question, really. Uh, I mean, is, okay, well, is homosexuality of, wrong? In terms of uh, gay people, straight people, I will defend their right to live and to love however they please. So in terms of that legal right, it is, uh, it, it is perfectly justified for them to live in a free and pluralistic society. But morally, you would still consider it to be a sin. Well, sin, if you're asking, that is a theological question. Sin, according to the Bible, if you want to uh, cite that as um, evidence for, for faith, uh, sin is how you treat God. So ultimately, it's about your view of God. You can be gay or straight, and it's about how you view God and love your neighbour. You can be watching TV so your on a night out. Then. So is your or, interpretation that gay sex is a sin then? My interpretation is that whether you're gay or straight, how you treat God and how you treat your neighbour is the definition of sin. And that can only be accounted for between an individual and God. Given that some of your supporters have now quit your campaign, are you going to see the campaign through? At the moment, yes. At the moment, yes? Yes, I, I'm committed to uh, giving that choice to the SNP voters. But even just saying, at the moment, yes, well, does that mean at some point you may consider your position just pull out? No, I'm committed to seeing the campaign so through. So you'll see it through to the end, to the 27th of March? At the moment, yeah. And do you think that what has happened in the last 24 hours has affected your campaign, other than just some of your, your supporters pulling out, do you feel it's affected it beyond that? I think it has brought to light a fascinating question at the heart of Scottish political discourse, which is... What does liberalism mean? Have we become so illiberal that we cannot have these discussions or some people are beyond the pale? Because if some people are beyond the pale, then those are dark and dangerous days for Scotland. And I think this campaign will draw that out. See, some people in the party, the SNP, think that you are illiberal, think that you are as progressive as the party, and they are concerned about your views. That's why some of your supporters have pulled out. That's why, for example, the Greens say that they wouldn't be able to support you for First Minister if you were the SNP leader. And yet I'm sitting here today saying that I'll defend the rights of people who disagree with me. I will defend to the hilt. But they're not the going rights. to defend your rights and you would want to be their leader. That's and difficult that for you, isn't is it? The definition of but liberalism. that must be difficult for you. But it's the definition of a liberalism that can I defend you to do whatever you want. I don't think anybody can defend me. <coughs> can I defend your rights? And can you defend my rights? Where would you stand on conversion therapy? I would absolutely wholeheartedly condemn coercion of any kind when it comes to people's sexuality. So you would also condemn people who protest outside abortion clinics then? You would be supportive of buffer I would zones condemn. regardless of any... Uh, you would absolutely oppose that, would you? Absolutely not. I would... So you absolutely would not oppose buffer zones? No. And I've never said that. I, can, I think anyone going for a termination is not doing so lightly. I think it's a hugely emotional, challenging thing to do, and they should be allowed to do it without fear of harassment. So any fear of harassment, there should be no protests outside these I don't clinics. think there should be fear and harassment. Any bill will need to make sure it's targeted well. But should there be any protests outside these clinics? Well, if that's causing fear and harassment, then I don't think there should be place for fear and harassment. Kate Fox, thanks for joining thanks. us. Thanks.